Let's get straight to the point. Number eight, the stealthy ear twitch. Have you ever sat in a boring meeting and tried to move your ears just to see if you still have a soul? Congratulations, you've discovered the auricular muscles, the most pointless inheritance from your primate ancestors since the tailbone. While your dog can rotate its ears 180 degrees to hear a cheese wrapper opening three blocks away, you are sitting there twitching like a glitching NPC for absolutely zero tactical advantage. Evolution kept these three tiny muscles around just to remind us that we used to be cool hunters who could triangulate the sound of a rustling bush. Now they serve only as a weird party trick that makes you look like you're trying to communicate with an alien mothership via Morse code. Scientifically, they are vestigial structures, biological leftovers, like the save icon being a floppy disk. Most people have lost the neural pathways to control them, but if you're one of the lucky few who can wiggle, don't get too excited. You haven't evolved, you're just a slightly more functional fossil than the rest of us. It's a superpower that has a 0% success rate in helping you get a date or hear the TV better when the chips are crunching. Use it wisely, or don't, because honestly, nobody is actually impressed by your vibrating ears. Number 7. The Human Sonar System Ever wondered if you could navigate your house in total darkness without stubbing your toe on that aggressively placed coffee table? Well, you actually have a superpower called echolocation. And no, you don't need a spandex suit or a tragic backstory to use it. Humans possess the latent ability to sense the environment by clicking their tongues or snapping their fingers and listening to the returning sound waves. It's exactly what bats and dolphins do, except they look majestic doing it while you just look like a person trying to start a very lonely jazz band. Research shows that our brains can actually repurpose the visual cortex to process these auditory pings, creating a mental map of physical obstacles. It's a stunning feat of neuroplasticity that proves your brain is much smarter than you are. Of course, most of us never use this because we have things like light bulbs and not wanting to look like a weirdo in the hallway. Scientifically, it's about detecting the pitch and timing of echoes, a skill that can be sharpened with practice. But let's be real, you're probably just going to keep using your phone's flashlight because clicking at your furniture feels like a fast track to a psych ward evaluation. It's a top-tier survival skill that we've traded for the convenience of being able to see where we're going. Number six, the underwater power saver mode. Did you know you're basically a budget Navy SEAL when you splash cold water on your face? Welcome to the mammalian dive reflex, the body's internal, we're drowning, panic button. It's shockingly complex for a species that struggles to walk and text simultaneously. When cold water hits your face, your brain assumes you've decided to live under the sea like a majestic, confused dolphin. It immediately drops your heart rate and constricts peripheral blood vessels. This blood shift redirects oxygen away from your useless toes and straight to your brain, prioritizing survival over your limbs. It's your body's low battery mode, shutting down background apps to keep the core OS running. Scientifically, this is an evolutionary relic from aquatic ancestors, allowing us to stay submerged without oxygen. Unless you're a pro freediver, this superpower only kicks in when you're crying in a cold shower or falling into a pool. It's a stunning biological feat that helps us survive deep sea pressures we will never encounter while sitting on a couch. You're a tactical aquatic machine, trapped in a body that gets winded on stairs. Number 5. The Solar Sneeze Glitch Ever walked into the sun and felt like your brain was trying to eject itself through your nostrils? Welcome to the solar-powered club of the photic sneeze reflex. Scientifically, it's autosomal dominant compelling helio-ophthalmic outburst syndrome. Yes, a scientist spent years in school to make an acronym that spells a chew. This superpower affects a third of us because your brain is a poorly wired basement. The optic nerve sits right next to the trigeminal nerve, which controls sneezing. When you hit bright light, signals cross. Your brain thinks there's dust in your nose instead of a giant ball of plasma in the sky. It's a glitch with zero evolutionary benefit. While your ancestors dodged predators, you're busy sneezing at the sky like a confused houseplant. It's a dramatic way to acknowledge daytime, making you look allergic to existence. You're a high-tech sensor that detects bright but only communicates via a wet explosion of mucus. It's like a smoke detector that screams when you turn on a lamp. Accurate, but annoying. Number four, 
the phantom wrist tendon. Touch your pinky to your thumb and tilt your wrist back right now. If a tendon pops out like a lonely guitar string, you have the palmaris longus. This muscle is a coming soon feature that stayed in the final game even though the developers cut the mechanics. It once helped our ancestors swing through trees while escaping predators. Now its only purpose is to show you haven't evolved as much as the 14% of people who lack it entirely. These new humans don't miss it because their grip strength remains identical. We're basically walking around with a built-in spare part that surgeons love because they can harvest it for reconstructive surgery elsewhere. It's the biological equivalent of keeping a box of old cables in your closet. You don't need them, but you're stuck with them just in case. You're a tactical climbing machine whose only adventure is reaching the remote without standing up. While you flex that tendon, remember it hasn't seen a tree since the Stone Age. You're carrying around heavy climbing gear just to scroll your phone. Number 3. The Primal Warning System Ever felt your skin turn into a plucked chicken because of a spooky sound or a killer guitar solo? You've activated piloerection, a fancy way of saying your body is trying to be intimidating with zero resources. In nature, this traps heat or makes you look like a terrifying fluffball. But since you traded fur for a sleek layer of nothingness, your tiny muscles are just firing blanks. Now, goosebumps don't make you look like a beast, you just look like someone who really needs a sweater. Scientifically, it's a vestigial reflex triggered by the sympathetic nervous system. It's your brain screaming red alert, while your skin responds with tiny bumps that wouldn't scare a hamster. It's the ultimate biological empty threat. You're using energy to simulate a defensive posture that became obsolete millions of years ago. You're a tactical predator whose main defense is sandpaper skin. You're a shivering, hairless ape trying to look big when you're just cold. It's nature's way of reminding you that you were scarier before hoodies. Number 2. The Gut's Secret Intellect Why does your stomach have a gut feeling more accurate than your college-educated brain? Welcome to the enteric nervous system, your second brain living in your pipes. We're talking about 100 million neurons wrapped around your digestive tract. That's more than you would find in a cat's head. This isn't just plumbing, it's a neural network that functions independently from your skull. If you cut the vagus nerve, your gut keeps working, oblivious to the silence from upstairs. It's a middle manager that doesn't need the CEO's permission to ruin your day. Scientifically, it produces 95% of your serotonin. Your joy is dictated by a tube of kale. This superpower lets you feel danger before your conscious mind catches up, though it usually just tells you that you shouldn't have ordered extra spicy salsa. You have a literal genius in your torso, and you treat it like a trash can. It's a neglected intellectual sending signals you ignore until it's late. This system manages your metabolic life while you argue online. You're just a machine steered by a bag of acid. Number 1. The Thunder in Your Skull Ever wondered if you're a budget Norse god because you can make a roaring thunder sound in your head by squinting? You're an ear rumbler part of a club that can voluntarily contract the tensor tympani muscle. This muscle lives in your ear to dampen loud noises, like your own loud chewing. It's a built-in volume knob, protecting you from the internal chaos of being alive. For some, it can be flexed at will, creating a vibration like a private hurricane. Scientifically, you are hearing your muscle fibers twitching in real time. It's a fascinating feat with zero practical use. You can't use it to predict weather or talk to fish. At best, it's a way to drown out a boring story without them knowing you've checked out. You're a biological marvel with a secret weapon that makes you look like you're having a mild stroke while you focus on the hum. It's the ultimate superpower for the introvert who wants to be a hero while doing nothing you have a built-in white noise machine, proving your body is full of high-tech features you don't need. It's a Ferrari engine that just makes it grumble. If your enteric nervous system enjoyed this more than that questionable taco you had for lunch, show some love by hitting the like button and sharing this with your most primitive, tendon-flaunting friends. Don't forget to subscribe to Coolest Dude Explains. We post new ways to feel biologically superior or just slightly confused every single day. If you don't join us, your vestigial ear muscles might never find their true purpose in life. And that's a tragedy we just can't have. Thanks for watching and try not to sneeze at any light bulbs on your way out.